It's been nearly a year since Sacramento police killed Stephon Clark, and this week the DA says its investigation report is delayed. A lot of emotions here, and his family just filed a $20 million lawsuit against the city. CBS 13's Lamar Abrams spoke with them today. Well, they want what they've been after from day one, and that's justice. But almost a year after Stephon Clark's death, they say it's nowhere in sight. Justice delayed is justice denied. Stevante Clark and his mother, Sequette, joined by their pastor. We're in agony ever since the callous murder of my brother's death. Um, my grandmother still sleeps in the house where he was killed. Inviting us back to that home less than a year after two Sacramento police officers shot and killed Clark, mistaking his cell phone for a gun. The results of the Sacramento County District Attorney's investigation into the case delayed. We thought the decision would be out by Friday. So um, yesterday's news was a complete shock to us. The DA's office announcing it needs more time to process new reports and related materials from the Department of Justice, adding the DA will take whatever time is needed to ensure a fair, thorough, and accurate review of the matter. It took seven months after the protests, but Sacramento police officially turned over the investigation back in October. The district attorney, together with California's attorney general, tasked with reviewing the findings to figure out whether to criminally charge the officers who fired the shots. When we're ready, we will report it publicly. That's Attorney General Javier Becerra speaking at an unrelated news conference today, not saying much about the delayed investigation, instead offering the Sacramento Police Department recommendations for new use of force policies, including changing the way officers approach a subject. Meaning that officers emphasize communication over commands and cooperation over compliance. I believe it stems from the death of my son. Clark's mom remaining skeptical. No one's being held accountable. With an investigation still ongoing. We shouldn't be out here defending my brother, my, my mother's son, when the officers should be proving their innocence. Now, as for the family's $20 million federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Sacramento, well, they declined to comment on anything relating to it.